What's up everybody, Chris with South Carolina Gun School and uh, just kind of wanted to talk to everyone today about uh, the most recent events happening in Texas. A uh, very, very horrible situation and you know my heart and prayers go out to all of the families, uh, everyone involved in the church, you know, that was just there when everything happened. That's just a horrible situation done by an evil person and it's Something I want to talk to everybody about today because I recently had a pistol class right before that happened and one of the gentlemen there was asking me uh, about a group of concerned citizens at his church and how they're allowed to carry and some of them kind of you know sit in certain positions within the sanctuary just to make sure if something bad happens they are able to get to that threat and get it down quickly but one thing that it came up in conversation was was training together and that's definitely something if you're in a church and you have a group of concerned citizens like that and you do have permission gotta make sure you have permission uh, you are allowed to carry concealed in a church as long as you get permission uh, from the people in charge at the church so if you have groups like that if you're part of a group like that you you need to really try to do some training together and I'm not saying in there every single day training. Uh, at least, I would say at least two Sundays or two Saturdays or whatever days that, that everyone can get together. And I'm not spend, saying spend all day, just a couple of hours working together so it's not total chaos. Because if you, training, you know, professional training would be ultimate. Uh, that's one thing we're able to do with a lot of the simulation using. Uh, some of the uh, target stands you see behind me with some of the targets is we're able to come out, set this stuff up inside your church or your home or your place of business or wherever you want to have it set up and give you the ability to learn how to work within that uh, place wherever it might be. So again, I'm not saying get that training. Ultimately, professional training uh, would be the best. But the main thing is at least get together with your group uh, and, and work and understand who's going to be doing what, where everybody's going to be. And on top of that, I'm not saying you need to train with your congregation, but there needs to be at least a conversation had uh, one Sunday after church or if you have email set up or maybe put it in the bulletins. But there needs to be some type of communication it would really be best to have a conversation directly face to face and have these people uh, up in front introduce them help them understand you know what they're doing and that way one it kills any questions that people might have and it also lets them know these are the ones to look to when something's happening and just explain to them what they need to do if that situation ever happens because if it does and no one understands what to do the shooting starts everybody's going to be up running and screaming you know, you need to try to work together to have people attacking the threat while you've got other people protecting the groups in the pews and working them out of the building and out of the situation and being able to know which way to go depending on how the threat or threats come into the building. So some type of training needs to be done. Uh, even if with a neighborhood watch, same thing with a neighborhood watch. Y'all need to work together. You need to have communication. Everybody needs to understand what things mean and what's going on and how, who to go to. The, it, it needs to be done. You need to work together with your group. Whatever it is, wherever it might be, you need to work together. Really, again, try to get some type of training. I'm not saying through us, you know, that would be great if you do. We would love to come in and help everyone understand what to do and ensure there's not mass chaos because without training even if you've got some people within law enforcement other people that aren't law enforcement that might be carrying in the building might not understand what they're doing or their process of working through everything that's why everyone needs to get together everyone needs to understand all the communication what's going on who's going where and who's doing what I'm telling you it's total chaos if there's not some type of training it needs to be done it's and if you have uh, say a small group that's outside the building uh, say a roving patrol I know that sounds bad when you're at a church but 
it's again it's the the, the world that we live in now and you know that that's the the sad part about it is this is where we're at and before anyone starts it's not the guns that are the problem it's not the guns it's the people and in this situation you know someone forgot what the from my understanding but again who knows you're never going to get the full story but from my understanding someone when he was discharged didn't do all the proper paperwork uh, to ensure something he's not able to get his hands on any type of firearms so guns aren't the problem it, gun control does not need to be done it needs to be training and it needs to be the understanding of the firearms to help ensure this stuff doesn't happen and no I'm not saying we need to people put pull put people in full tactical gear with the ARs and shotguns roaming around churches that's not what I'm saying but if you have a concealed weapons permit and you're part of a group within your church or within your neighborhood uh, that is set up to do the protection as you want to say until the law enforcement is able to get there then you need to work together you need to train you need to meet like I said two two days out of the month at least two days out of the month and I mean if you could get maybe three days out of the month that would be great but at least two days out of the month you need to be working together and like I said it's not anything that needs to be long and drawn out you know two three hours at most uh, the stuff that we do uh, we're gonna come in it's probably gonna be somewhere between four to six hours depending on how many people there are and you know who all is gonna be involved and it's just so we can make sure everybody's good to go so four to six hours somewhere in there price is gonna vary depending on where we go uh, how far we have to drive and things like that but if you would like us to come out and help please reach out to us we'll be glad to assist in any way possible because and I'm not gonna sit here and price gouge or anything like that but you need to get some type of training and you need to train with your group it's very very important that that's done to ensure that, that it's just not total chaos and again talk to your congregation make sure they understand who these people are what they're doing and so they understand these are the people to look to if something happens please folks go out work together that's the most important thing professional training again would be great but at least work together some so everybody understands what's going on and what's being done and always remember if you're not shooting you're reloading if you're not reloading you're fighting if you're not fighting you're dead train to live see you on the range